Hello, I'm Neza Alawi and we are here today with Dr. Michael Fakir, founder of Fakir Fertility Centers. Dr. Fakir has founded six centers in the region between UAE, Oman and Qatar and has helped over 100,000 women get pregnant. Most importantly, Dr. Fakir has helped pass a law in UAE that supports single women to have access to their eggs freezing, which prolongs their fertility to over one or two decades. Hello, Dr. Fakir. My first question is what inspires you every day to be a fertility doctor? Uh, you know that we do many, many procedures and every day you get results from these procedures. And the happiest moment is when you have a positive result. Like the nurses will send you an SMS or a WhatsApp or you come to the office and then you see on your desk the positive results and you're really, really happy to, to know that uh, you're helping these couples achieve a pregnancy. That's and, then, and then when you see the patient after they get pregnant, you can see the brightness in their eyes. And they, there's a big difference between pre-procedure and post-procedure. Pre-procedure, like usually depressed, uh, they uh, have no energy and uh, they're wondering, can we make it or can we not make it? And it's a process, it's a procedure. It takes a while uh, to end up with a healthy embryo uh, and it's costly. So um, when they end up with a positive outcome, everyone is happy. Uh, the couple are very happy, we are very happy. And we're blessed that these days success rate is very, very high. It is much different than what it was even five years ago. Okay. Uh, and this has to do with the newer technology that's coming up. That's amazing. Well, uh, people wake up to have positive numbers on their sheet and you have your positive numbers are new lives. It's creating a new generation, contributing to, to passing on uh, a heritage within the family, so, so that's amazing and must be very, very inspiring. Tell us about your journey in the region and how you became a leader in fertility treatments. The country has really uh, come through a huge transformation from when I first came here. First time I came to Dubai was about uh, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I came for a visit, actually invited by one of my patients who we did the procedure on and was successful. He insisted that I come to Dubai. So I came and instantly I fell in love with the, with the city. Uh, so we took an office, but the problem then is um, we could not open an IVF unit. The laws did not allow that uh, people come and open IVF units. And it took a while uh, for this to happen. And then 10 years later, we were able to, uh, to open our first IVF unit in the UAE. Amazing, and during that time, you were I was working, working in, in the US. I was working in the USA. Okay. And then, so in 2010, I basically uh, moved 90% of my work to, to the UAE. And then I've been here since then. How can Fakir IVF empower women in getting pregnant? Luckily, again, uh, the success stories are overwhelming. Uh, and then the success rates are really Im Im improving every day. Um, every month or every year, there is a breakthrough in the technologies that will increase the success rate. So many women who had no chance like five years before, are now they are really finding a better uh, chance to achieve pregnancy. And the issue with egg freezing is extremely important for us because many uh, career women or other women uh, don't have the chance to, to achieve a pregnancy, let, let's say when they're 25 or 30. Mm -hmm. And then if they keep waiting, uh, with the decline that happens normally in every woman with age, uh, their success or their uh, success rate to get the pregnancy uh, comes down. So if you freeze those eggs, you basically empower them. You in improve the chances to get pregnant at a later age, even if they have no plans to get married or at that particular age, but they can always do it later on. And also, uh, if they are married already and then they decide to, to get a pregnancy later on so they can delay the pregnancy without having to be scared of not getting pregnant at an older age. I, I totally agree. My own personal journey is empowering women. Um, started my career with the United Nations and have been focused on this for the past 10 years. And uh, yes, yeah, a topic that I think that we don't talk a lot enough about, whether here or in the US, it's about that deadline that women have in terms of uh, becoming a mother and pushing that deadline is a true amazing empowerment. Thank you very much, Dr. Fakir. Thank you 
for supporting this journey, for, for doing amazingly what you're doing. And you have a, a wonderful team. I can uh, testify from it. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you.